Shalom Israel. Greetings to all my brothers and sisters on this channel. And for those that are new to the channel, I say Shalom. I want to talk to y'all today about have you sold out? And I'm not directing that toward anybody on this channel. As far as I can tell, they're all Torah believers. Hallelujah. But this lesson today, I want to demonstrate how the Most High has been falsely uh, represented and divided into many pieces. I want to show you how the New Testament is a book of division. It's not a book of unity. It has no laws, no commandments, nothing that would benefit Israel. So we're going to go through a list. Now, let me tell you this. This list is just out of the United States. And it's not all of them. Now, if I went into the whole world, this list would be far too huge for me to even put on the screen. And they're all New Testament, but they all believe something different. Now, we have one God. How can one God tell all of these different denominations something different? If you have been to church in your past, then you know what I'm talking about. Everybody believes something different. Everybody says God told them this. God told them that. None of them agree. And most of them can't stand each other. Does that sound like God? One God would tell the masses one thing. Everybody would get the same message. He don't go to the Abundant Life Baptist Church and tell them something different from Acts Full Gospel Church. But according to the Christians, the New Testament followers, he tells each individual denomination something entirely different. Now, let's just scroll through this list. Uh, Abundant Baptist Church, Abundant Life Christian Fellowship, Abundant Life Christian Center, Abundant Life Church, and so on. All Saints Epis. Episcopal Church, All Souls, Unitarian Church, Angelus Temple, Antioch, Antioch Missionary Baptist Church. I mean, this list, look at this list. This is just in the United States. And like I said, this is not all of them. But if you listen to these people in these churches teach, they all say something different from one church to the other. No wonder there's so much confusion. The New Testament is confusion. Here's the proof. Like I said, one God has one message and he tells everybody the same thing. Why do they all have something different to say? This proves the New Testament is the book of death. It is not the book of life. Look at all this. Now, what if I went to the countries, all the other countries, not just the United States? Look at this, man. We're still going. All of these believe something different, and most of them can't stand each other. Look at this. One God, and look at how he's been divided into all of these pieces now for a true God to have a message for his people 
Why is he not telling the same story or the same message to all these people? Because, see, he doesn't speak in the New Testament. That's why it's so congested, so chaotic, so confusing, so hard to understand. It wasn't meant to, for you to understand. It was meant to do exactly what I'm saying, confuse you, lead you astray. You got proof right here. This is all because of the New Testament. So, any teacher, and I mean any teacher, that refers to any part of the New Testament is a false teacher. You do not, you do not join yourself with teachers like that even if your hands are so-called clean you ever heard of the term guilty by association you're guilty for listening to that garbage you're supposed to only hearken unto the word of the most high nobody else and if that teacher is not bringing you, thus saith the Lord, you're in serious trouble. And I know, I know teachers out there that are going to the New Testament to, uh, to make their lesson. Most of them don't know this is wrong. They believe that they're right. They believe, they believe that they're right. But they're leading you into the pit. And if you're on one of these channels and you're giving comments of praise, you are just as guilty as they are. I'm not going to make this a long lesson, but I just want y'all to see the work of the Book of the Dead, the New Testament. Look at this. Look at this. And the list goes on. And like I said, this is just in the United States. But all over in China, they have Christians. In Germany, they have Christians. In Russia, they have Christians. Japan, they have Christians. France, England, wherever you go, they are the many now, what did the Mosai say about many will travel the road that's broad? But in the end thereof, it leadeth to destruction. Look at the many. The Mosai says that only a few will find that straight and narrow. Does this look like a few? And remember, this is just the United States, and it's not all of the churches, just some of them. This is not a few. So that alone tells you, stay away from this. You're following the masses. The Most High only chose a few, and he's waiting on that last of that few to wake up. When that last one wakes up, that's when the crap is going to hit the fan. Because he will have all of his chosen. Look at this list, y'all. Look at this. I'm not even halfway there yet. Now imagine if I went through all the countries in the world. Imagine how long this list would be. It would take me weeks to go through them all. And I really think this is enough. So you wonder why do churches fight churches? Because they all believe something different. Since when did the Most High go to one person and tell him something, and then go to another and tell him something different? And that's what you got here. 
Y'all know I'm telling you the truth. If you've been to church in your life, if you've ever been to a church in your life, you can you cannot deny that when you left one church and joined another, you have a different message. You have a they do things different from one church to another. They believe different. They teach different. They act different. None of them teach the Torah. None of them. I mean, God, look at this list, y'all. This is just crazy. All of this is, is the results of this book of the dead. All of this. And that's what it was designed to do. Look how the people have been separated from the truth. All of them teach lies. All of them worship multiple gods. All of them are in polytheism and conjecture, confusion. Look at this. I don't think I need to show any more of this list, but this list goes on. So my question is, Why are you following a book that creates confusion? Now we've seen all of these denominations, all of these New Testament churches, which by the way, the Most High did not create a church, man did. So we've seen all of this. Now the Most High's laws and the book of life, the Torah. This book stands alone, just like the Most High. That should be a huge clue right there. This book has no connection to the New Testament. It stands alone, just like the Most High, who did all of what you see alone. And teachers who teach anything from the New Testament, the Book of the Dead, are false and misled. My message to you, choose you this day whom you will serve. Shalom.